G'day, welcome to the next video on how to make wonderful charts in Excel. This one's a really quick video and it's basically giving you a shortcut to how you can make lots and lots of charts really quickly. If you haven't already done so, please open the file called Copy Formatted Charts. It should look like this. We have a chart as we made in a previous video and the data at the top that that chart is based upon. What we also have on the right is another set of data. The first data table tells us the average number of plants in each zone and the second table tells us the total number of plants in each zone. And our question is, how can you quickly make a new chart based on this total number of plants in each zone without having to go through all the steps that you did when you made the first chart? There's a couple of reasons why it's a really useful thing to do. When you made the first chart, remember we went through a lot of steps to format this really well and it looks really nice now. If you make a new chart from scratch, every time you do it you've got to go through all those steps. That's going to be very slow, but it probably means that you're going to have slightly different formatting each time because you forget something or use a different font or something like that. So our question is how do we make one chart initially that we format really well and then make a whole series of extra charts based on different data to show different patterns that have exactly the same formatting as the first chart. And if we can do that, we can save a lot of time. So, let's have a look at this first chart we created. If you just click on the chart itself, anywhere on it, and it makes this blue um, border around the chart, you'll see that it also puts some borders around the data table. So up here, there's a blue box around the numbers. There's a green box around the words daisies and sedges. There's a purple box around the words burnt and unburnt. And that's telling us where the data that this chart comes from. So the words burnt and unburnt are linked to the words in this purple box. If we change that and put some capitals on that, burnt and unburnt like this, you see it changes what we have down there in our chart below. The words daisies and sedges in our legend here are linked to these words here. Again, if I change those to daisies, I spell it correctly, daisies and sedges, you can see it instantly changes what's in the chart. It's linked to it. Okay. And the numbers are linked to what's in the chart as well. If, for example, we realised we made a mistake and there weren't six sedges on average in the burnt zone, but instead there were 16, if we change that to 16, the chart automatically changes as well. Okay. It's linked to the data in that table. And if you click, instead of on the entire table, if you click on a blue bar, it highlights the data that creates the blue bars. So there's the daisy data. If you click on a red bar for the sedges, it highlights the data that the sedges come from, as you can see here. Okay. So our question is, we want to make a new chart that's linked not to this table here on the left, but instead to this table over here on the right. Okay. And the question is, how can we do that very easily? Note that I spelled daisies wrong way back here, and I'll just fix that up before we go any further. Like that. OK, so we've got a perfectly formatted chart on the left and we've got a perfectly formatted data table on the left. A great data table on the right and we need a chart that's based on that and we don't want to do any of this formatting ever again. Let's see how we can do it. First, click on your first chart. Okay. Now, right click, say copy, move across to the right here and say paste. Now, we've got two charts, but as you can see, this one is still linked to the table on the left. If you click on any of the bars, it highlights over here. If we change any of the numbers here, for example, it's going to change both those charts. So we want to change this chart so it's based not on that table, but on this table to the right. So let's just click on the chart itself like this. And you can see it highlights these blue and purple boxes on the left. We can now just drag that blue box across here. When we do, see our chart changes. So we've now got 54 daisies, um, 24 burnt sedges, uh, 16 burnt daisies, and we've changed this. It hasn't dragged over the labels here, and it won't let us do that for some reason, but we can do that easily again just by, if we click on the blue bar, you can see here that it's lit up this area here, so, lit, so it's linked to this, but it's linked to the word over here. If we drag that box across there, it now links us over here. You can see we've got daisies with a lowercase d like this instead of the higher uppercase like we had here. If we click on our sedges box here, we can again 
drag that across there and we've got the perfect format. Now the only extra change we want to make to this chart here is that our label here says we've got the average number of plants and we really want it to say the total number of plants. So if we click on that and we delete the word average we can just type the word total into there. So very very quickly we've basically made exactly the same chart. We don't have to do any of that formatting ever again simply by copying the chart and dragging the data that came from to the new table where we want it to which is amazingly fast. Just to check you can see when you click on the blue bars it highlights this here and if for example I change the 16 unburnt daisies to 26 it changes this chart here and it doesn't change anything over here. So this chart on the left is bound to this table on the right and the chart on the right is bound to this table on the right. Really simple, really save you a lot of time when you get to the assignment. That's it for this shoot. Next one's coming soon.